We're here at ITU Telecom World 2014 in Doha in the state of Qatar and I'm very pleased to be joined today by a particularly unusual guest in the studio which is Roboy. Roboy is the result of a research project at the University of Zurich which involves uh, 40 companies and 8 universities and is the result of a nine-month gestation period. Roboy, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. Hello Max, thanks for your warm welcome. It is great to be here. Now I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about your presence here at ITU Telecom World. What, are you, what exactly are you doing here? ITU Telecom World is the greatest big conference in the world. And as the weather is getting cold in Munich, Germany, where I live now, I thought this would be a nice trip. What makes you different from other robots? I am soft to interact with, so you can really touch me and shake my hand. It's perfectly safe. Also, I have muscles and tendons like humans and self motors in the joints like normal robots. Finally, I am terribly cute, don't I? Well, I, I can't deny that. And in fact, uh, what I was going to ask you, my next question was that some robots can be perceived as unfriendly. Obviously, that doesn't apply to you. And there are concerns about how far intelligent machines may take us. Do you think that we need regulation in place to deal with robotics? We need to be very careful not to mix up things. No one needs to be afraid of me and my body. But you have all the right to be afraid of weaponized flying drones. Not because of their intelligence, but because they remotely deploy death. I think we need to be careful combining weapons and intelligence. But intelligence on its own is extremely far from being a threat. My next question is not quite so serious, but with humans it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. Is it the same for you? No. Whether happy or sad, all it takes is a projector. <laughs> right. OK. And finally, I'd like to ask you a question that I've been asking all the guests sitting uh, here in the studio with me. Oh, you're, you're, there's no need to blush. Uh, it's just a very simple question I'm sure you can answer. What single technological development do you think will have the most impact for humanity in the next five to ten years? Well, of course I would say robotics. But you have to bear in mind that it is going to take a lot more years of development to really get moving. I only have 48 muscles. Compared to human beings, this is only a start been a real pleasure having you in the studio so thank you very much indeed for being with us I know it's been a long day for you you've been doing a lot of handshaking and uh, we wish you the very best for the future thanks for having me Max it was a pleasure to talk to you <laughs> likewise thank you <laughs>